What is your CV for? What's the point of that document? Most people tell me it's a summary of their skills, their knowledge, their experience, their qualifications. And of course, it's written in a positive light because you get to write your own CV. So of course that's so, but I get all that. It's wrong, right? Your CV has one purpose and one purpose only. Your CV's purpose is to get you an interview. That's it, all right? My name is Johnny Walker, and I'm the founder of the Get Found, Get Hired program, which helps executive job seekers get their ideal job faster and for more money without even having to sell themselves. Your CV doesn't do anything else, okay? It can't get you the job, and if it doesn't get you the interview, you can't get the job, and that's game over. So what's your CV got to look like now that we know its only purpose is to get you an interview. Well, there are three big problems with all executive CVs that I see, and they're the following. Uh, relevancy, all right? The hiring manager has a problem uh, that needs solving, right, and wants to know if you are relevant. And the problem with all CVs, of course, is that, you know, whilst your CV's fine, all right, um, it just wasn't written with this particular job in mind. It was a one-size-fits-all. Maybe you finessed it a little bit about the ed- around the edges, but, you know, at the end of the day, it wasn't bespoke for this job, and it cannot possibly be true, all right? It cannot possibly be true um, that everything you've ever done is going to be relevant to every future potential hiring manager that you're ever going to meet. So how do you make sure your CV is relevant to the hiring manager without having to do a complete rewrite every single time, because no one really fancies that, do they? Uh, Or handing in some colossal tome of your entire career and hoping they'll cherry pick through it all. They're not going to do that either. So do this instead, okay? Please, if you take one thing away from this, it's this. Stop writing a CV, okay? Instead, write a master copy CV for your entire career. Put everything in, all right? And don't worry about how long it gets. This document's going to have everything in, so it's going to be super long, a dozen pages, 15, 20 pages, it's fine, all right? Make it long, all right? Once you've done that, and don't hold back because the more stuff you put in the master copy CV, the better. Now, when you're applying for a job, take the job description or notes you've made from the conversation you've had with a recruiter or from HR or wherever, and have a look at your master copy CV. Every job that is on your CV, but not relevant to the hiring manager, yeah, make that bit of your CV shorter, like one line short if you possibly can. Yeah, I'm sure it's worthy, I'm sure it's interesting, but it is not relevant to the hiring manager. So just don't make them wait through it all, all right? Every job on your CV that is relevant um, to the job that you're applying for, you wanna leave that there in all its glorious detail, right? That's the good stuff for the hiring manager. That's what they want to read, right? So now your CV will collapse into um, probably three or four sides, maybe less, but everything that's left on there in long uh, will be super relevant to the hiring manager. And that will take you, what, about 10 minutes to edit down? Uh, That's it, right? Every job you apply for should be handled this way, okay? With a highly relevant CV that only took you about 10 minutes to edit down from a master copy, does not require a colossal rewrite and does not run the risk of trying to be a one size fits all CV. So that's the first big, big problem that I wanna see solved in a high performance CV and that's relevancy. The second thing your CV needs is what I call purposeful language. At the moment, yeah, your CV is full of knowledge, skills, qualifications, experience, yeah, but have you connected all of that to the results you achieve? Yeah, Quantifiable results, ideally for revenue, or costs, or some kind of risk that you've stripped out of the business, all right? The benefit, revenue, cost, or risk, and the quantity of that benefit is currently missing from your story, and your current CV is basically telling your career story about as averagely as everyone else says, right? If you add in that missing content, yeah, the results and the quantity of the results, um, it's going to be a lot more compelling to the hiring manager, yeah? The final thing a CV needs to do um, is it's got to motivate the hiring manager to want to take the next step, which is to call you in for an interview. Yeah, that's the whole purpose of your CV, all right? What motivates somebody to say, yep, um, now I've read this CV, uh, I wanna get this person in and meet them. How do we make sure that the hiring manager feels like they should get you in for a meeting? That's a thing called the buyer's journey. Now, I'm a digital marketer, so this is something that I specialize in, right? I'm not expecting you to have known all about the buyer's journey by now, but it's in all adverts, it's in all marketing material, um, it's been around for decades and decades and decades. It's got its own Wikipedia page. 
People have written PhD theses on it. You know, I didn't innovate this, all right? It's been, I mean, the late 70s was um, when this first emerged. Um, and an example of this is, so how many of you have got your personal details, yeah? Your contact details somewhere else other than the bottom of the last page, probably at the top of the first page, yeah? And you've labeled it something like personal details or contact details. Instead, your contact details must be labeled contact me, which is an instruction, which in marketing language is called a call to action. And it must be at the end of the last page of your CV, not in the footer, but just the last thing they read in the body of the CV, because that's where the reader, the hiring manager, is when they make a decision about whether to call you in for an interview. They read your CV, they love it, and there's no content details there because it's buried back on page one. Why'd you do that? So the buyer's journey um, is just the, you know, the structure um, that you need in order to present information uh, to get someone to say yes. Yeah. Once you've got that buyer's journey structure um, and you've got purposeful content, yeah, quantity of results, and you've got um, uh, the uh, relevancy problem solved, then your CV is one of the highest performing you can possibly have. And I've seen thousands. This is the best it can be. Alrighty, look after yourselves. Take care. More help is coming.